Hey, what's going on there? Well, before we get to started on these two little pep squeaks, uh, disclaimer, when they say that I'm watching, recording, try to panel up, get on the panel, we know you're watching and recording, just to let you know, uh, I've been busy with a life with a chick, Sunday, hanging out with the chick, so I'm starting back four hours back, not watching, not recording then, and what glued like they are, but let's get going in this. You know, yeah, I, I was yeah. shocked to hear, I wasn't shocked to hear him call in and try to run interference. I mean, that's normal but for him. And I'm not shocked that he tried to, you know, double down. Wow. So running interference is uh, giving your opinion these days on the way you see things. Okay. Because people aren't allowed to see the things the way I see things or else they're, they're, uh, what are they? They're parroting or white knighting. So if somebody agrees with my opinion and might even know more than me, like CMN knows more than me. He does, because he, uh, well, he just does. In most circumstances, he already knows more than me. Just saying. And commentate over his bad commentary. But he was yeah. literally gassing up CMN for the child race rape jokes yeah. and defending it. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't even really being brought up. And um, Right, if- right, right. Because you bring up a point to where Rick Crude likes to go around and tell people that he he's going to rape their grandkids, and when it gets thrown back in his face, and I know what CMN is doing, oh my gosh, it's the most horrible thing that's ever that somebody's ever done besides what Rick Crude does. It's it's okay. It's all right what Rick Crude does. The funny thing about that was, as soon as it happened, I was on the panel, and oh, wow. Aaron was in the line of like, oh, well, Scotty had this happen on his stream, so I'm like, now it's happened on Aaron's stream, and it's his buddy CMN. It was like, <laughs> well, that, that wasn't really throwing when your buddy said that he wanted a, our little boys in the behind. That wasn't throwing anything back in. It wasn't throwing anything back in anybody's face. Really, that was just your buddies, and I do believe you did uh, get a kick out of that on your panel when when your buddy Durden did that. Just saying. Oh wow, here we go. It's perfect, you know. Not that he yeah. wants something like that to happen, but now, right? He's, you know, re-nar- he's rewriting history, and now, if it happened on my stream, I'm the worst person. But if it happened to him, CMN's a hero. He, you know, confronted Rick Rude. Yeah, the biggest baddest guy on YouTube. Yeah. No. And again, I'm no. not condoning for Rick Rude. But Rick Rude like, is is in Aaron's circles. Like, why would Rick Rude even be on that? panel if he didn't know Aaron you know what I mean that just shows you the type of people that uh Aaron is around I I mean let's let's go through that real quick that was a really good one because uh when I confronted Rick Crude with I could be a she on uh Rick Crude's panel and they're talking shit about me and I pop up and I start talking shit back guess who pops up to help Rick Crude Dank Williams, Fellamon, and Mr. Mr. Jones, and I even think there was one more in there. They were watching Rick Crude and just loving it that Rick Crude and I Could Be a She started trashing on me, and they help Rick Crude and I Could Be. Isn't that interesting? And then all of a sudden, uh, Fellamon's with his sock accounts in poor Dirt Farmer's chats helping him out. But we're not going to, they're not going to address anything like that. And uh, when I when I panel up with these losers, they think they can destroy you by over talking you, and you don't get to bring out these points of the sock accounts that are in Porter Farmers chats and comment section section helping him out. Now, before we get too much farther along, we're gonna go back to the beginning of this conversation here after a little while, and go through some interesting things as far as Felamon saying that he just loves, loves just trying to bust people out on their lies, and he's got thousands of recordings, but he's the one that feels stalked, okay? We're going to go through that later. Basically, that's it, in a nutshell. Wow. I mean, are you surprised what came out of Rick Crude's mouth? I mean, none of us are, because that's the kind of crowd Aaron is involved in. Yeah, that, I mean, wow, yeah. for for putting these assholes on blast that they're not going to put on blast. Even when I brought Rick Crude, uh, Rick Crude's name, 
uh, Urban Disciples, I, I gave him Rick Crude's name. He goes, tell him, you should go look into this guy because he's claiming he's a WWE wrestler. And, and he's, a, he's a pretty good candidate to put on blast because of what he does and tells people that he's going to R their, their grandchildren. But the thing is, uh, Urban Disciples wasn't interested in Rick Crude for some reason. But now that Rick Crude gets confronted and smashed back his own bullshit by CMN, oh man, it's just a great opportunity for these guys to lie. To lie for where they were at helping Rick Crude. And he, he only does and it Porter to Farmer. Clout Chase and he's like CMN. He's like, oh, there was a drama stream. Uh, here, here's what happened. And but Aaron, at least I can like laugh at the drama. Aaron literally tries to interject himself into it. You're you're not uh, laughing at it. You're crying like a little bitch about it. That's what he's doing. And when I interject myself in some drama, it means that there may have been like a single mother that was raped, doxed, fucked with, and these fucking weirdo dudes that are too big of puss bags to, let's say, come at other men and have a throwdown with other men they go after single moms. Huh, fellow mon? You and OGM like the doc single moms? Right? Oh, right. All right. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, like you did with you and the Axley and countless other, you know, yeah. YouTube. Oh, let's, let's go back. I, I, let's go back. Whatever. Seems like CMN. He's like, oh, there was a drama stream. Uh, here, Here's what happened. And but Aaron, at least I can like laugh at the drama. Aaron literally tries to interject himself into it. Um, like he did with wow. you and so, the so I I wanna I wanna have a social media drama show and that's interjecting in by by following court cases of the way people have tried to sue people, other people, over making videos. Right? Like maybe for instance, Anton, right? I show a toy airsoft gun part of it on on Diana's stream. And Anton says he's calling the police. And whether he did or not, I mean, I'm going to put in a FOIA request eventually to that county that they think they're calling on behalf of me and put in a FOIA request and just see exactly who who had to call their the non-emergency line after fellow Mon and uh, Scotty. And Finding Bench Warmers did a whole little segment and show on how to call the non-emergency line and email a certain uh, county sheriff's department on, you know, on my behalf that, oh my gosh, I've gone over the line on, on the internet, over the line, Please, whatever that is. Other, you know, yeah. YouTube beefs. Good morning, and Nicola. <laughs> Good morning. Wow. Oh, it's afternoon now. Wow, so, so while I'm I'm having coffee with my chick, these ladies are squawking online about Mr. Cox. That's great. <clears throat> it's noon somewhere. It's my day off. It's your day off. Can I get drunk on my day off? You know, I haven't drank any alcohol in over two and a half months, man. Well, that's good. Yeah. Might be a good thing there, fellow man. Uh, me, I probably he's, shouldn't. He's drink definitely either. probably not gonna find any clarity from that. It'll just be a one addiction to another, like his dopamine hits from when he thinks he's destroying Mr. Cox. But he's the one that's stalked. Just, just an FYI. Just in general. And, um, yeah. However, I don't get many days off. Oh, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> however, no, but there is a hockey game today. So All right, boy. Oh, well, you should take more to try to try to ride it out unless you well, want to. Well, I'm not allowed to drive yet, but when I when I get cleared to drive again, then I'm gonna enjoy the time off. You know. Well, wow. so just an FYI, they were uh, I skipped some some parts there to where they were talking about fellow Mon's health conditions, and I decide to go past those parts and forego making fun of them. When any little detail they get about maybe my conditions and things that are going on with me, they exploit the shit out of it, okay? That's that's the difference between uh, low-level shill bags that got to talk about you for some reason, keep your name going and active, but they say they're the ones rebuttaling for some reason, right? But it's uh, non-stop, even when I'm not even online and they 
supposedly think that I'm watching and recording and I should panel up. Wow. Uh, let's keep going here for a sec. Yeah. Um, um, but I'm going to yeah. spend some time on the right. tooth. So, so they've, uh, you know, fast forwarded there a little bit. Interesting enough that uh, they've they've ran out of a loop on Mr. Cox. It seems like they've uh, completely. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, let's let's go on pause and let's see if we find anything else down the road. And then I want to go back to where they they let's say they blow their Cox wad, okay? And the bullshit that comes out of there, and they're so convinced they're right, and these other people are liars, and I can't just wait to uh, debunk all of this because it's fun. Oh my gosh, here we go. Wow, right as soon as I paused, they, they picked it right back up. I mean, wow, they're not as predictable as you think. <laughs> you want to give them a little bit of credit. Nope, they pick right back up. As soon as I paused, wow, amazing. And I try to give humanity a little bit of credit. Oh my gosh. But Felamon's going to explain here that he's going to spend his next month of recuperation time Trying to destroy Mr. Cox. This is this is absolutely wonderful. I love it. Um, but I'm gonna spend some time on the tubes here and put some stuff together. Why I have that precious time, right? <laughs> mm. Yes. Yeah. Well, there's. I know you probably have a too much information on on Cox. You know. Yeah. Um, too much. Wow. But yeah. it will be interesting. And then, uh, like I said, he's kind of sh sh not as fast. Yeah. As Still probably in that 150-page docs and supposed 50-page criminal history that they like to peddle around. Still, none of my awards or credentials are part of that, I, I believe. They might say that, you know, something that I said, like uh, confined space entrant license, they're going to go, she didn't have that, right? Of course, anything that I say that's even truthful or i'm trying to put in comedy it's just lies so no matter what i say is supposed to be a lie everything no matter what i say and uh that looks like a uh, narrative to me and a uh, propaganda uh you know well campaign and slander campaign and uh it's it's interesting how they downplay Operation Vigilant Eagle for some reason, right? To discredit, oh, psh, that's never, that doesn't exist, psh, right? But it seems as though they slip that in every once in a while to make it look like it's it's discredited. It doesn't exist. See, they'll, they'll never admit, yeah, it exists because, yeah, it's it, the information's out there and even people are presented on it. Even their buddy Eric Shilkerson in a long time ago presented on it. But he was just deepening his cover when he presents something like that, Eric Shilkerson. He's just deepening his cover that he's part of it, but they got to tell you what they're a part of and doing. Like when your guys' buddy, Eric Shilkerson, you're going to love this, when he used to start out his streams and recite the Illuminati Creed, his action and, 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 and mannerisms, his body language would say that he's actually reciting that creed as, as, as being a part of them. That's... What his body language and everything says, because, I mean, these guys are so level bad, like bad, bad. You know what I'm saying? Easy to see through. No wonder Felamon doesn't ever put himself on camera. You know what I'm saying? He's got to re rename, rename, remain anonymous because, I mean, the shit that he peddles, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm trying to have a LARP show. And, you know, I, I've got an ulterior motive, too, as far as an audit, internal audit on uh, how social media is you know, protecting Preds and not going by constitutional value in their terms of service. And anybody else that comes along that might look like that they're white knighting for them or want to play like they're a cop and saying they're calling the cops, I'm just here asking questions, right? <laughs> asking questions and uh, wondering why people had to try to shut me up when I'm doing a music stream and start off DDoSing, right? DDoSing, after doing many tests for many, 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 many hours of, uh, you know, absolute clearness and crispness, all of a sudden you're getting DDoSed and you're getting harassed at the same time. It's interesting when Anton and Larpy catch on to you, right? Isn't that interesting? It's just so much fun. It's so I much like fun. it, but I think he's, he's burned his bridge over there with the Pred Catchers. Oh, wow. Um, he's on loop. He's on a good loop. I, I have streams of... 
him and Yak. So he's Once him. again with that Pred Catchers win. I'm so glad that my bridge is burnt with those drama Pred Catchers. The, the, well, the leeches of the Pred Catchers. The news and drama community that Pred Word, your guys' buddy that you wrench up and platform on this same freaking little channel. With your guys' animal erotica, right? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep Predward down in the basement just in case Mr. Cox might come on. And Predward's down there jacking off to the bird erotica. Since they want to have so much fantasy and project, it seems like the one that's got some fantasy with the animals and with Scotty projecting that, uh, you know, it, well, it's really sick with animals that he projects and so forth. That's why he's labeled now the Dojo Diddler after this guy accuses him of being too intimate with his students and he has the evidence. And this is where you cut they cut you off, but when Felomon has the evidence, he will never back down. Never back down. So I wonder if Felomon's actually there working Scotty, like Vic might be working Ed. I mean, I don't know. Well, let's find out. And you're actually coming on this coming on the chat on his chat you know back in Aaron against the beware mouse stuff I, I have all that saved you know a whole thing I have it um there's no way possible in their little dumbed down world that a sicko pred got reeled into their little click because they were such hard-hitting people right they're gonna bust out liars and sickos but when you reel one into them all of a sudden, they're hanging out and supporting that main supporter. Just like Felomon was doing damage control for Eric Shilkerson, still is, for his suicide LARP with Mark Connors. They don't want people to know that. And even how Flathead, the main supporter of the rodent, even showed up with Eric Shilkerson. Two main supporters there of sickos... And Felomon is doing damage control for him, and he doesn't want people to really know that part. He was just doing, he was just helping Flathead bust me out. No, what you're doing is helping Flathead set a bullshit narrative to help him get camouflage. And that's what Felomon and this crew does. Those are facts. I have him and Mike Truth together. You know, Aaron used to go on Mike Truth's streams. And give. Wow. I used to go on his streams and try to talk to him about Jesus since he liked his love Jesus so much. And then wasn't, I don't try to recruit anybody, but as soon as I went on there, they had him recruited. Mike Truth 21. He's not going to mention that part. They're not going to mention the part where they teamed up with Dank Williams. That looks pretty suspicious since Dank's had direct contact with the Muffin Man, Mr. Thomas, that they talk about. When we go back to the beginning, they talk about Mr. Muffin Man a little bit. But when they also try to team up with Shizzle, right, and recruit Shizzle and recruit all these other people, sock accounts for Decone, right? I think I've got the recording where fellow Mon was running his sock accounts through Decone stream as he's blasting me. For some reason, anyone that I put on blast, and this is so easy, they go and team with because those must be the good guys, Right, So when we put Rick Crude on blast for him doing some really nefarious shit, they show up in the chat and team with him. But they're not on his team. Nope, 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 nope. Porter Farmer, nope, Mike nope. advice on who to wrench in the chat. There it I is. I remember. So I, I, I wish I could let that go for a little bit longer. But when they bring up these wrenches in the chat means that there's some type of streets turf war there they're trying to gain control of in their cybernetically charged dumbed down little fantasy when they're just walking around as radioactive communists and space trash these guys are more space trash because of the uh well because of the the animal erotica projection but they spell cast this same nest no no not this nest another nest in Florida they spell cast another nest and the mama bird dies for some reason. They're spell casting in the chat. Cry your mama saying he hopes that a baby bird walks out of the nest and goes splat. 
and Stankola and all these crew, they're just loving it. Especially with Spamjula G and James D, they're all talking satanic Sundays and they, they like to, you know, hail loser for, it's just a joke. Very nefarious double twist turn quadruple flip. Still not good as the uh, quadruple reverse troll on the kayak. These guys suck. Together. You know, Aaron used to go on Mike True's streams and give Mike advice on who to wrench in the chat. I remember him telling Mike Truth not to. Wow. Give so uh, when Malibu wants to open up the arena and then all of a sudden she's got Felomon on her team and they're wrenched. His team is wrenched in Malibu's. Wait till you hear the double twist flip when we go back to the beginning on this and go over that part. That's uh, just great. Mr. Jones a wrench. Oh my gosh, these wrenches. I, I found that stream. I have all this stuff. <laughs> it just, I got to organize these guys, it. And... These guys are so easy to get. Like, I'm serious, man. These guys are total tilapia, man. And uh, so easy to wrangle in as far as just, I mean just to have a back and forth but there is no back and forth so it's like let's just have a drama shit show and throw anything at them and see what they come up with right <laughs> you know screen it a little bit and before i put it out there you know because sometimes i'll record things and you know some other things will be on there that you don't want on there but uh oh wow you know what, uh, I, I but wonder I, what kind of nefarious things those could be there, fellow Mon, since you're associated with Dojo Diddlers, more than one, main supporters of Sickos, uh, trying to trying to play fight and might, you know, the way it looks like to me, because the way they got to say that I'm with it, I'm working with, no, 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 and no, all right, but you have, you, you have an open panel and they click your link you're working together, I guess, right? In, in fantasy world. But him and Ed look like they're working together and have made up and on the same team with Spamjula G all up in it and giving him court case record on John Davis. Isn't that interesting? I mean, to me it is. I mean, it might not be to them, but the spell casting and the mama bird, uh, you know, dying is, is more... I think crucial than anything that people aren't going to talk about maybe for a while until the AI kind of kicks in with it and starts. I try to record the full like mm. picture of what you see on YouTube. I don't like to uh, adulterate it or put stupid music on top of it or barely see the screen like Aaron does. You know, I, I like to show who's, who's in the right. chat. Well, I, I thought Scotty was having a LARP drama show and that's what I'm just doing is mainly I started out to have a music show, but it's got to be his standard. And which is incredible. I find with this and he talks about this in, in another spot where uh, he doesn't really like in the past, him and Nicola have just talked down about this platform and how horrible it is. And they're leaving. And it's like an excuse to promote Twitch or, or whatever you know what i'm saying whatever platform they're they're uh doing product placement for that week like the scrap yards you'll hear Bellomon have to promote the scrap yards with his product placement and how horrible this place is though like even up to you know six months ago oh they're leaving horrible place right but all of a sudden he's just so invested and involved for some reason real like um try to put the date of the of the show up sometimes you can't get the date because when somebody's streaming live it won't show the date but i have the screencast date that's undeniable so i could always show a screenshot of the date it was uh <laughs> it was recorded maybe maybe, maybe drama fellow mon here needs to uh, loosen up a little bit because his goat is easy to get gandered, okay? And uh, he's having a serious, for some reason, he hates this place, but going to hang out on it and help bust out liars when, I mean, everyone's full of shit, okay? I would say 90% of the people that have got their cash app out there are grifting in some way, Okay. And uh, there are legitimate people out there that don't get that, that try to 
mix in, but the goal is to engulf them so the shills still get the majority of the money, even like with uh, the Gavin Siam incident with uh, in Pahrump, with a lot of money getting raised and then him leaving the country. <laughs> right? That's a little little red flag there, even though the excuses were pretty good. The excuses were really good, and uh, yeah, you know, I think he could have faced the music, and at one time, interesting and enough, enough Gavin Siam was running for a senator or congressman or something like that and then just to bail like a Frank you know well uh I'm not gonna say anything more let's just keep going um you know so stuff like that yeah no, I, uh, I I have yeah. a pretty good memory of timeline for some reason so so what he just told you is you have to believe his bullshit <laughs> about this shit so yeah. Um, better than Aaron does because he fucking wow. gets himself caught up in lies. I'm, I'm I guess that's so glad there's better liars out there than me because I'm just trying to have a comedy show and take what people say online. And since it's, I mean, so funny to, you know, accuse people while Kim's on the panel of doing sick and gross things with animals, that's okay, right? That's just a LARP show. But you throw some shit back at them. They still have to be better. No matter what you throw back at these guys, they are right. They have the proof. And once Felomon has the evidence of the Dojo Diddler, he d will not back down. Right? Incredible. What happens when you're a liar? It's hard to keep the lies straight. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen anybody just compulsively lie. Just flat out. And then Shizzle does it right after him. Okay, but when you guys get busted out in your lies, you run, deflect, deny, and then fire back with more bullshit. And even with proof, evidence, and court case record, you show them an incident number of their buddy Predward, and they are going to deflect hard. This is hard. Hardcore. CDR controlled controlled deflective rampage and hardcore deflection for them being on the same team as Predward. Wow. You know? I mean, that's why they're all together. You got mm -hmm. what's truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got mm -hmm. crying pat. What what constitutes <laughs> together? Really? Like in this dumbed down fantasy world, friends together, supporting, working together. Should there be a video made? I think I just got a new video idea. We need to define these fantasy words that these idiots like to use, like forever, always, nobody, somebody, right? Somebody told Scotty and Urban Disciples that I had teen teenagers in my hot tub. Somebody. Just somebody, right? Let's believe that somebody, everybody, like the Why Yo Mama, that Operation Vigilant Eagle does not exist. It's just made up fantasy from Mr. Cox, right? Incredible. You got Shizzle. Oh my gosh. And you got Aaron. Wow. And CMN. Whoa, 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 whoa. Beat makers, guys that have instruments, uh, like to produce music. And then you got jerks like this that don't really have any talent. Like they can play covers. Scotty can show up with three turntables and a microphone to your wedding and do a fantastic throwdown job, right? Take some gigs at the uh, club for minors. Uh -huh. The Dojo Jitter going to show up just like Mark Connors and have his band at your wedding. And all of them, all they know how to do is freaking lie and just try to rewrite history and just make shit up. And some of them say the worst things that you can imagine. Wow. When I go back to the beginning of this conversation, the bullshit that I'm going to unravel is just going to be a blast. That's that's what I like. I like to help pay, make people laugh at over other people that are way too serious. For some reason, he's taking this so serious. And that's the seriousness that showed up on my channel first to keep score that I was getting destroyed by Domingo and Gadolf. Okay, like it's a tennis match. All of a sudden, it's 15-0. Okay, and then so when he's so serious about this LARP that they admit they're doing, 
to smoke people out and infiltrate other channels and chat rooms. They've already got infiltration all over YouTube. It's just the YT platform. Okay, there's a lot more out there than your precious YT and you guys being security for head witch Wojiki and, and her lapdog. Even though she's gone, it seems like there's still Wojiki lapdogs around. To, be, to us, you know? I mean, just the worst. Yeah, like, Arian's now graduated. He's saying, like, wow. I've done things to kids. I've seen that. He called you the uh, dojo d word right yeah after felamon had the evidence that he was getting too intimate with his students and when felamon has the evidence he's got the evidence so let's stick with that because that's what they have once they have the proof they don't back down but he did he did back down to scotty for some reason let's keep going see this is gonna get good yeah, like, Arian's now graduated. He's saying, like, I've done things to kids. I've seen that. He called you the uh, dojo D-word. And I, I just couldn't That's believe it. Aaron, you better fucking hot. You better hope I never see you, son. It's all in sight, son. Because yeah, saying I, stuff like that wow. to you, because you're... Wow, so when I get doxxed first in his chat room and I start challenging them... But it shows more of the narrative, right? And he says he's coming to bury me in the desert. And again, I say, don't get anywhere near me. Okay, my days in Huntington Beach are done. All right. I've been there for, you know, quite a bit. Balboa Island fishing, the charters, Dana Point, right? Uh, I mean, all over the place. But... You get anywhere near him, it's automatically on for them already saying these things as far as pedo and rapist and and animal stuff, weird stuff with animals, incredibly enough. Then you give him a taste of his own medicine back after Bellamon with all the proof and evidence never backs down. So you're going to hold them both to the fire on it. And there's, for some reason, he doesn't seem like he's working in the dojos anymore. Scotty gets the cops called on him over talking this sick shit in a, you know, a low-rent apartment complex that he's talking down to them the whole time. They have to deal with him in their dojo. Gets the cops called on him. Talks down to a, a tenant. Calls him a degenerate. Wow, dude. Wow, interesting, huh? All right. Your real name is out there, you know? Well, just and, the principle. I'll, yeah, on you. will YouTube. find out who's got the skin of your neck, and it's yeah. not going to be me, Aaron. I mean, saying that about a YouTube uh, avatar name when, when and somebody's still anonymous, you can get away with it. But when you tie uh, that to well, stuff. Wow. So when I start slapping back at this anonymous avatar, Mr. Fellowmon, he's stalked all of a sudden. All of a sudden, he stopped. Actually, you just need to go back and get that kind of more in full there. Well, so Aaron, Aaron, you better fucking hot. You better hope I never see you, son. It's all in sight, son. Because yeah, saying I, stuff I, like that to you, because your your real name is out there, you know. Well, it's and, just the principle. I'll, yeah, just, on you. Know, you find out that, that's that's how Felomon found, I believe, Scotty's Instagram, where he found the photos of Scotty being too intimate with his students. Got the skin of your neck, and it's yeah. not going to be me, Aaron. I mean, saying that about a YouTube uh, avatar name when, when somebody's still anonymous, you can get away with it. But when you tie that to somebody's real name. Without evidence, that I mean, that is libel slander. Uh, not it's once have I said Scotty's last name, if anyone's noticed. And uh, yes, he's tied to two other dojo diddlers, in my opinion, Eric Shilkerson and Mark Connors. And when he didn't trade paint hard enough with Mark Connors, but he says he's going to pop up and help do something about Mark Connors. But yet he continues on going on TV and being part of false flag operations uh, from what the research shows, especially the uh, bikers rally for Trump. 
on the news calling out Antifa. They're going to meet violence and violence and guns with guns. Incredible. A, a, a dojo diddler that uh, has no weapon rights either, from what I've found, Mr. Connors. But when you don't trade paint with them hard enough, especially the main supporter, Flathead Corruption Watch of the Rodent, and you team with them, and you team with Eric Shilkerson that did a suicide LARP for Mark Connors that's on TV, uh, calling out Antifa, you know, so forth, and, and provocatoring. And Felamon's there to catch false flags, but he hasn't caught this yet, but he's on the same team. Doesn't that, I mean, wow, that's that's some easy math for me for some reason. Like that, yeah. Yeah, I'd rather take court to my own hands, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. I'll take my chances. Wow. Anonymous, you can get away with it. But when you tie that to somebody's real name. Oh, yeah, I like I like that, that I went back there. So when I only put Aaron V. Cox on my main first channel, and they say my legal middle name, that's all right. That's okay, because... When Kim A doesn't want her legal name said after she uses her channel, you better not say it, according to these guys. Oh, you better not. Oh, you're doxing her. Oh, man. Huh, isn't that interesting? Oh, wow. The that hypocrisy. Evidence that, I mean, that is that's, that's why I had to go all the way in and do a lot of double twist reversing to get people to uh, out themselves and show a lot of hypocrisy. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Evil slander. Or something like that. Oh, I'd rather take. Oh, they're talking about getting a case. They got a case. Oh, poor fellow, man. He's stalked all of a sudden as the anonymous avatar. They got cases. I mean, saying that about a YouTube uh, avatar name when, when somebody's still anonymous, you can get away with it. But when you tie that to somebody's real name without evidence, that I mean, that is libel slander. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Wow. I'd rather take court to my own hands, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, court to his my... own hands, right? Yeah, and and helping people call the non-emergency line, encouraging that. Also, talk about slander and libel, so forth. Trying to uh, say these sick, gross things with my full legal name. And animals attached to it. Something nefarious with animals, which is totally disgusting and wrong. And, uh, yeah. So, who's got the problem here? But he's going to take court in his own hands, but encourage people to call the non-emergency line as they're doxing a sheriff's department. Nothing. This is what it's come to, because guess what? Nothing else has worked, apparently. Just shut me up. Okay. I'd rather take court that, to my that, own that, hands. That's what it sounds like in his little cuckery dojo. Us, 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 us. And then over in Shilkerson, it's I, 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 I. That's all you hear. Isn't that amazing? I love it. Without evidence, that, oh I mean, gosh. that is libel slander. Or something like that. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'd rather take court to my own hands, if you know what I mean. Well, it's it's, <laughs> yeah. it's because these guys are lurking and watching and waiting to figure out how they can uh, win, help win court cases for their puppy mill mommy handlers. That's what they've been doing is figuring out how to win court cases. But there's, a, I mean, I don't know if they can really solidify really putting in a real serious court case because everything has been debunked thus far trying to avoid the weaponization and the uh overuse of the courts the uh overwhelming misabuse malabuse of the courts <laughs> malabuse oh my god i'll take my chances with, with the cops <laughs> oh wow good morning kim Wow, a guy that's, that's already, great... uh, you know, admits that he's uh, been arrested for open container and uh, domestic violence and assaults and, uh, wow, interesting. These guys have the long criminal history, kind of like Mark Connors, too. For some reason, all of these idiots have the uh, records to where I don't. Wow, amazing. Huh. That's a great statement, Jones. Yeah, that's that sums it up. <laughs> that's like their last oh, their yeah. last hoorahs to say something like that. 
Well, he called me a chomo. I mean, you, I, and then he denied doing it, but I proved that he did. Like, <laughs> right? Of... Where where you go into CMN's chat room, and after he's been accused of being an RSO, and so it's okay to do that, and he's not. And when you get called something like that back, and so that's that's these guys sitting there gaslighting to catch a case to start a case. Because they think they got it. And all I got to do is say, hey, man, countersuit's going to be gnarly, okay? Because it's it's hours like this. See what I'm saying? That, that start the meter rolling as soon as you want to dox my name and use my real name, even though I haven't used my real middle name. They, they say, you know, sound it out in each, each syllable and vowel. And you know what I'm saying? So it's very interesting that I start to get doxed in their little safe space with the address and then it's the channel title name with the address then it rapes babies or is gonna burn down right like uh here let's let's go to that right now i think i got it on uh on speed dial here let's see so i don't want to show the full uh channel here but this is at the top the channel name at the end, it has the full address, and at the end, gonna get blown up. That's the channel name. An address. Full address. And then at the end of that channel name that's wrenched in Scotty's chat, is wrenched. That's okay. That's all right. Okay. Ready, break. So when you actually join their panels and go, wow, you guys are having a fun doxing campaign here. Is there anything I can really help 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 you with, right? What seems to be the problem? Then all of a sudden it gets turned to this. Statement, Jones. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's Mr. Jones. Oh, that he's sums so innocent. it up. Yeah, one of the Sentinel socks. Yep. It's like their last. Their last hoorah is to say something like that. Oh, it's liable and slander. Well, he called me a chomo. I mean, you, I, then he denied doing it, but I proved that he did. <laughs> like, live. Oh, man. He's like, oh, that was yesterday. Oh, sorry, I forgot about that. Yeah, so what I yeah. did. But when, when Fellow Mon oh. has the evidence, he has the evidence, and he's not going to back down ever, except for Scotty. Muffin libel. Oh. Muffin libel. I like that, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> The muffin libels. Oh my god. They just now, what is this they just love some of the things that I can come up with because then they start using it, but they don't know what they're they're actually doing, which is really interesting. It's fun. Where did it come from? Like Thomas. I don't Who, know. Chisel that is in the streams guy. now with Thomas. They're like I've got Yeah. Just for me as a sip. There, just <laughs> to be honest, Scotty, I never kept up with the Schoenberger stuff. Like, I, I have no clue uh -huh. what's going on with that stuff over there. With those people. Well, right. everyone knows he's Sophia Music. Wow, and he's promoting for him. Hoax Wars, that's the mm -hmm. real because yeah. it could be, you know, a fake Thomas account. I mean, there are. You know, there's that's interesting because you would think social engineers would know about each other unless this is a good social engineering little uh, uh, LARP to disassociate. Maybe like, let's say, OK, you watch how they're going to disassociate with Monograph if Monograph loses the Rikita uh, lawsuit. You watch. They're kind of with him, it seems like. Just like they're kind of with the Muffin crew and the Puppy Mill and the Predward Defense Force, the Predvidians, the Scumronites, right? The Nunyanites. They've all been there with the drama side of the Pred Catchers and any other place that I pop up. All of a sudden, it's their chance to get involved. Oh, it's their chance to get involved. Oh, this guy Cox, he's got to be destroyed. He's such a bad guy, right? <laughs> I'm just like... Uh... <laughs> Thomas St. Germain. He's, he's got a plethora of accounts, but Sophia Music is like a legit channel that links back to him, especially if it's wrenched. So I'm not wrenched. You can't check. But, this you know. is how uh, the Muffin crew uh, 
ups their Muffin Bucks crypto by doing a little bit of promoting for Mr. Muffin Man, right? He's not really blasting the Muffin Man. He's more promoting. Interesting enough, isn't it? For sure, Hoax Wars is uh, <laughs> Thomas Apologist has wrenched the So right. who is Hoax Wars? Like, oh. who is that? Well, he you know what's funny like, is he doesn't even know where he pops up at, like Rick Crude's perhaps, but I think he's, I think they're all together and he's got to play it off like, well, who really is this guy? But you already popped up in his chat to blast me like you knew who he was. Isn't that interesting? Right? It's, that's like a LARPy, like, you know, promotion, like, let's do some product placement. What is Jaegermeister exactly that Zombies is drinking? You know, for sure, Hoax Wars is uh, Thomas Apologist has wrenched the... So right. who is Hoax Wars? Like, who is that? <clears throat> well, he was... When I first found It's such him, a good lead-in question to, like, you know, be able to... You know what I'm saying? To be able to, you know, help further the conversation of the promotion thereof. He was kind of a Thomas in the, like, there's a bunch of people like uh, Mind Inspired, um, Scott Bibbler, um, hmm. Hoax Wars, uh, you know, Titus. Dude, wow, okay, so they go through the roll call like Denise Mad Cow, and then whatever else they say from there, it'll be piddly, like, yeah, they're liars, you just gotta believe us. So name drop, name drop, name drop. And uh, nothing about bilateral hemispheric synchronization or monural uh, basic, you know, brainwashing and programming through monural frequencies, right? <laughs> and that's, that's what I'm going. That's how we got Lestat busted out there. And interestingly enough, but they're not going to mention that at all for some reason either. People you know, have been carrying water for Thomas over the years. Um, and wow. what was the point? Um, Hoax Wars was wow. clearly one of them. He mostly did these like long form, like Owen Benjamin compilations and, mm. and shit like that. Kind of like what he does with the Pred Catchers, you may or may not have seen. He'll put yeah, together a like bunch what's, of them. Like, what's yeah. Hoax Wars connection with these Pred Catcher yeah. creepers? Like, what's. Well, yeah, he interjected himself. At first, they. Well, some, your, your buddy Ed there! When <laughs> I identified him, I remember hearing them call him out, like, you're Hoax Wars. And he was like, no. I, like trying to defend it, but eventually, I mean, it's clearly him. I, no, I did hear some videos of him trying to say it wasn't him, but even in the middle, he was saying I. He, he was like mess, messing up his English and like, yeah, well, because I'm doing. He's like pretty much admitting to being it, the the account, which you can just tell by voice vocal recognition. Yeah, they're not going to talk about all the water that was carried for Ed until he became a big guy in the drama part of the Pred Catchers, calling the cops on Pred Catchers. Then getting busted out for uh, you know his CP accusations as a suspect in the within the Pred Catchers, where his uh, other puppy mill mommy handler overseer sister that uh, knew about the charges and the raid the day of, and all of a sudden they're getting busted out years later, and then all of a sudden Predwards on this guy's stream. Using my album avatar and it trying to call me out and get me on the panel where he's they're loving it. Even puppy mill mommy Kimmy is just loving it. Oh, they are tearing up Mr. Cox using a CP suspect. You're doing so good. They're you doing so good. To figure out that it's him. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so I was I was actually gonna ask Angela, like, yeah, there you go. I think she was on a few weeks ago and she was like tired trying to get off. And I was wanted to ask her one more, like, how the fuck did this guy make it over? As there? much as these assholes try to say that I work with Predward, Angela's right there. And as much as they say that, she doesn't really correct it either. Interesting enough. Just like when people try to say I work with slow burgers, the muffin man. No, no, thank you. Wouldn't ever. Okay, I got way better shit to do. They'd screw around with low-level social engineers, right? They probably don't even know how to write AI code now, right? See, they're always behind, but they think they're way ahead, but they're not. Just saying. But I think it's just because it's like drama. 
and content yeah. and a, you know what I mean? Semi. I mean, he gets like 80 viewers. I think probably he probably has like a. Well, he, he cut to all those. Um, no, no, that if you, if you make drama with the pred catchers, boom, you yeah. can get, you know, if so you come over here, you can get easily a hundred of those people to follow you for drama. Yeah. Not, you know. I, I don't get it. Yeah, they, they secretly watch in the aftermath so people can say, I don't watch over there, right, or ever show up in any of my streams. But for some reason, and I even uh, took a picture of it earlier where, like, you search the PI for hire, and there were videos there that showed no views for PI for hire, no views at all. And you click on it, and there's 120. So what does that mean, right? <laughs> it, it does not interest me at Dude. all. That preg catch shit. Uh -huh. Like yeah. they they drown themselves in that stuff. Like it's... that's stuff for like the police to deal with, you know? Right, right, right. But you guys were into the Eatsagate stuff with Treachy at one time and the Urban Disciples and Yaks and Lanny. And you guys were all about that in your truth or movement was the Eatsagate stuff. But now that it comes down to actually cleaning up the streets and it's time. Wants nothing to do with it. Interesting enough how these Eats of Gators were around and debating over these things, even in their truth or busted down little piece of shit, ashed out, cashed, cashed out. Click, click, click the bullets. That's done, dude. Break out the toothpick and holy shit, man. That thing is cashed, yo. Right? Oh my gosh. Seriously, man. There's police departments that handle that kind of stuff. And but you I, see, I, the thing is, this asshole, and what I wanted to help and, and help bring to light is the different capacity in the civilian side of what's going on there. Kind of like the cop watchers, too. There's a little bit different capacity going on with us being the oversight. But he has to be the security force. And what they lay out is the 12th it's been the 12th in movement i just don't understand there it people's is interest there, okay that's explaining everything right there with this understanding that's probably why this will be my last video and me com getting combative with dumbed down idiots stuck in their understanding okay last time see now i'm done now now fellow mon got me to rage quit because now i know he's just a low level beefcake dork this really is. This all have been all of these LARP shows and me going back and forth. It reminds me of a, a Revenge of the Nerds movie. Okay, that bad. It's that bad, and it's it's done. It's overcooked. From here, it's overcooked. There's police departments that handle that kind of stuff, and uh, I, I just don't understand people's interest in talking about you know molesters and stuff. All that. I just don't. Care. Wow. What what about the cops that are the molesters? Then then what? They're uh, fellow Mon, the chiefs that are helping uh, human traffic. Uh, what about that, fellow Mon? No, that's no, no. You can't debate those things with these guys because they're stuck on the surface of arguing Pizzagate in their truther movement. But when it comes down to actually cleaning up the streets, they're siding with the people that call the cops on the pred catchers. Interesting. You know. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I guess the drama, the fact that like the drama yeah. surrounds it um kind of like keeps the the energy going and then people kind of just the troll accounts and the you know willing participants and people yeah. involved you got to realize he's talking about the drama side of the pred catchers that leached on like leeches to suck the life and blood out of the uh, catchers so they're not as successful and then across the victims once they say okay i'm a victim they go, no, you're not. Telly's like, no, you're not, right? All these treaties, Telly's, no, you're not. Prove it. Well, why? Oh, so they can put you in their LARP show and exploit your victimization. That's why I try to tell people that you go, you got to go past victimization, survival mode, into comprehension, past the, even your understanding of being stalked. You know that victimization card being played, Mister Felomon here playing that he is stalked. Is an anonymous avatar and incredible. Kind of just gravitate to the debauchery and um, they kind of cannibalize each other. Kind of similar to like like Renee and OJM streams <laughs> command, like, like you know you have like a 
of real content stream when you do drama and you know, double if not triple. Yeah, but, yeah. We used to do content. We used to do like nine stuff on nine eleven. Um, we get like probably twenty to thirty viewers on that stuff, and then um, the drama was starting, and it shoots up to forty. You know, <laughs> it shoots all the way up. Yeah, if not more. Yeah. 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 But um, so I think that's part of it over there. I mean, and I think he, so Hoax, I think, you know, whatever he's, he's, the reason he's doing it is because it's good epic entertainment, you know, um, watching these people fight with each other. But, um, but yeah, it's kind of, you know, I've kind of gravitated or graduated past that a little, a little bit. And um, I'm not personally invested, so I don't really understand a lot of the, there it so is. many like, uh, There's that, uh, duh, but duh. I think that might actually be a good spot to go back to the beginning and uh, want to apologize to anybody. If I offended Colin uh, Fellum on a beefcake, he's definitely a soy patty, okay? Going back to the beginning. <laughs>